What you need when you come to a Jeep shop is an exit time. <laughs> <laughs> because that will limit the amount you are allowed to spend. <laughs> yeah, next time Jesse's like, how much time do you have? 20 minutes. 20 minutes, that's all I have. <laughs> What do you think? It's just fun recording everything. I know, isn't it? That's yes. why I can't leave. Yeah. So you could free spin that like that, get it straight. Man, what do you want? What well, is the butter? We are about to go through the border, but we are one hour away from our destination in Mexico. I'm super excited. I, I don't know what pattern that is, but I know you're a little out of compliance. Look, 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 I'm adding to my resume, Mark. Okay. I'm gonna do this on the side. Yeah, this way if it comes out, it's here, and then the ladder's gonna be right here. Okay. Yeah, it's pretty cool. That's what I'm gonna be doing. Quarters. quarters. What do you think about Caleb's quarters? Hey Trish, are you sure you don't wanna just sleep in the tent? <laughs> I don't know what I'm thinking. I, yeah, I'm gonna move on up. Yeah? Pull it yeah. out. You'll have to unslide it. So we are headed down to Mexico with one mission to go build a house this weekend. And do you think this camera is gonna get us pulled over? <laughs> yeah, you I'm sure when away. we when we get in here, they're gonna to wanna to take a look at the teardrop. So that's what we have going on in this episode. But the first thing we need to do is get back over to Summit and get Caleb's casita. You know what you're calling your bedroom yet? Oh yeah, 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 yeah. You do? So let's go to Prescott, get the rooftop tent put on, and then we'll tell you what's going on in this episode. This is a very noisy environment. It's very hard to record a video down here in Summit 4x4, but I do love being here. Today, we are putting the Smitty built tent in with an annex. Well, actually Trish and I are going to the library to edit a video because we're leaving for Mexico on Friday. So Summit is installing the tent. Big shout out to a YouTube channel. I think it's Sketchy Jeeper. I was doing a YouTube search on how to install a Smitty Built tent on a rhino rack. And he came up with these little channel locks that slide into the rhino rack. And you actually- it is big brain. You use, and you use these bolts, a one and a half inch bolt that goes down so you can eliminate the bars, the cross members that the tent sits on. That way it sits flush to the rhino rack. You gain two inches, and I think it's just more flush. Yeah. I mentioned it to Summit. They're like, cool, yeah, no problem. They're ready to jump on it. We're gonna Uber to the library. <laughs> We're gonna edit videos all day. They're gonna put that tent on. We're going to Mexico on Friday. Yay, Caleb has a home. Caleb has a home. Let's get started. <laughs> yeah. Pull it out. You'll have to unslide it. And then just wherever level is. Yeah. You know? I'm confident it is <gasps> very good. It's huge. It is. It's totally huge. I mean I mean it's relatively speaking, but yes. Yes. The point is is that Caleb is going to love it. He's going to love this. Wow. Incredible. I'm impressed. I am too. I'm impressed. This is great. All right, next step. We have two more things to do. Let's get them done. <laughs> Back on the road, typewriters crashing in Mexico. Oh, oh. Churros. Yes. Looks like Bob got through. Yes. So we've all just pulled off to the side to make sure that we're all together and then we're going to proceed. All right, so we've made it through the border. Trish mentioned Bob. We are coming down here with another KYD insider. He's from California. And we are gonna build a house at one mission, and that's only one hour into the border called Puerto Pinesco. But if you're from Arizona, you know it is Rocky Point. Trish and I have been to Rocky Point, what do you say, Trish? 20 times, maybe yeah. more, a lot. Yeah. And so, uh, but we're excited to go down there and record this weekend of building in the house and, and everything. We're rolling out right now, let's go. Okay, so for this particular trip, we knew we were coming down here and we're with Bob, but we also just wanted to be in a caravan if possible. Mm -hmm. And so we ended up sending an email to One Mission just to kind of create 
a bit of an informal caravan going down here and so we're with a group of five cars mm -hmm. and we're gonna get down there a little bit early and your favorite part of Mexico is chicken <laughs> so, yes uh, we're gonna we have that going on and then uh, once we get back into our campsite there's an RV park that we have uh, Caleb's gonna check out the tent for the I'm first super time. excited about the tent he is super excited about it the other thing I was going to mention is if you follow some of the off-road channels, the overlanding channels, at a pure coincidence when we were down at Summit, uh, Kevin and Brittany from Lightbright ended up showing up just to kind of say hi. It's so such that, a small world. I know, so, cool. so that, that was kind of fun. Hey, that's Sweet Gladiator. That is a very Sweet Gladiator, man. <laughs> sweet Gladiator, it's a Sweet JL. It's a sweet setup. I was gonna say, so we're giving it away, and if the person that doesn't want it, doesn't want the Gladiator, then we'll, then we're, doing it, well, then we're doing we'll $25,000 cash or the Gladiator. What are you wrenching on? Well, you know, we crawled underneath this thing, of course, because it's got a sweet little four-link setup on this, and I noticed that one of the jam nuts was loose. Or if there's some, some, so some we can't let them leave with a loose jam nut. So no. I'm going to check all the nuts, <laughs> and I'm going to make sure they're tight. I'm yeah, going to leave the nuts? obvious. I'm going to leave the obvious joke alone. I'm going to turn the camera off. <laughs> I was wondering if you're going to bite gonna on that. I'm going to step away. I'm going to step away. <laughs> I don't know if you bite on that or not, man. <laughs> bite on that, really? <laughs> We're here. We are here. We have arrived. You waiting for Bob? Waiting for Bob. Make sure he's, he sees us. He's flashing me. Okay, good. Get out of the way. So this is base camp? This is base camp. And there's like RV sites here and things? I guess so. RV sites and then they have a community space where they grill up all the food for everyone. What do you think we should do here, Trish? Do you think we should put it on the right, on the left? I mean, there's just so many options. So with our tiny rig, you put it right there. All right. And that way we can bring the Jeep in forward later. Okay. Oh, okay, oh, okay. that's good. Yeah. That's a good idea. Perfection. Yeah, just. <laughs> hey, look at this water. Oh, yeah. we, don't have, we don't. We don't have water. We don't. Yeah. Electrical. We have a 110. That's a, the simplicity this season is it's amazing. Is remarkable. It's amazing. So we don't really have this rig set up with everything we need yet, and all I have is this cord. Because last time we were in Mexico, they always had a 110 in the outlet, but this just has a 20 amp or 30 amp and a 50 amp. And I don't have 30 to 110, but Bob has a 110 outlet right there, and he's plugged in. So we're <laughs> mooch docking. We're mooch docking off of Bob's rig. Off of Bob. That's what we're doing. We're dropping this rig, and we're gonna go get chicken. Okay. So, chop chop. Chop chop. That's what they do down there. Chop yeah. chop. Oh, they did give you tortillas. Hot tortillas. There's, this is a facial, a tortilla facial. Okay, this is why you come here. This is made over hot coals. It is so good. And when they tell you it's just 15 more minutes, they really mean like 45. But you should stand there and wait because it's that good. We've been coming here since the kids were like this big. Yes. And now they're all bigger than me. Yes. Where are we? Lucas. Yes. I always forget the name. The thatched roof on the way into Puerto Pernasco. Can't miss it. Okay, now we're gonna head back to base camp. No, 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 we're gonna go over to the beaches. No, we're gonna go home. We have to set up the tent. Really? Yes, right now we're gonna go set up the tent because Caleb wants to see it in the daylight and I, I agree with him. Okay. So come on, let's go back to base camp. Hi, hi. You look like you have fleas. You die. <laughs> That's cold. That's nice. Right there? Yep. Put it in there. So we've talked about this, right? Yeah. What's it going? Nice. I looked over and I said to Trish, I said, I'm 95% sure that's <laughs> Chitwood over there. 
<laughs> yeah. Dude, that's crazy. If, if Ann was here, you would have heard us before you saw us. Well, that's right? true. That's true. She's and I would have come here. over sooner. Oh my God. So Matt's one of those friends that we had like when our kids were all tiny. You know those yes. friends you've known forever. Forever. Because you all had kids that were tiny. Mm -hmm. Matt's that friend for us. Yes. And so to look over. But Ann's not here. Ann's not here. So the other half is So we miss here. you, Ann. I'm not over exaggerating. It's bigger than your bed, Dad. I know it is. It's like, watch this, watch this. Steady ladder, steady ladder, like, no wiggle. Okay. And then. Yeah. Oh, and then that these good. have this right here. So I can roll this up. That's a big smoker. <laughs> so you this, is, this is Chitwood. He says, this is a big smoker you have here. It is kind of a big sure, smoker. What if I put them like this? See all those, all the, all those uh, fire pits going, coming through town, like Friday night, like. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. We're yeah. gonna get to restart yes. I'll just can. I want those steaks in while I still have light. This light, we have plenty of more time for that. Yeah. Oh sweet. And it's Velcro. So I just Velcro it. Can I get a hammer? I didn't bring one. Well then, can I get a rock? Um, I didn't bring one of those either. <laughs> I have my uh, new mirror hung up. Oh, really? I have a mirror. Here, I'll come around to the other side to go see it. Oh, look at that. Isn't that great? I'll tell you, Trish, you were really moving in here. <laughs> I know, look, I even, I took a pop socket. Uh-huh. I got a special pop socket contained thing. Okay. And look, and my phone goes right there. I'll tell you. Hey, this wide angle lens, people are gonna think it's big in here. Huge, it's gigantic. We don't wanna give people the wrong impression. It's gigantic. Okay, so let me recline. <laughs> you want to show everybody your new sheets with Look the deer? It. Isn't that great? They're like flannel, but not super flannel-y. You know where you feel like you're velcroed to the sheets? Yes. Just soft. Anyway, our next door neighbor has a fifth wheel, and she said, I didn't want, they started with a pop-up, mm -hmm. and then they moved to a fifth wheel, and she said, I didn't want the pop-up because I knew what would happen. We would just start scaling up, and now we're in a fifth wheel, and we'll never go back to tent camping. And she said, tent camping was my favorite thing ever, and inside my brain was going, why? <laughs> But then I started like we saw one of our longtime friends here. Yes. And there's everyone's gathered around a fireplace. There's a camaraderie associated to smallness. Yes. And when you have to be outside. Yes. Like right. Mm -hmm. Then you actually sit around together and you start talking. Whereas you know, peace out. We're going to have a nice <laughs> work. I'm not saying that's a bad thing because <laughs> I quite enjoy it. But what has happened, the evolution of us going smaller, is that I have started to feel that campsite yes. camaraderie. And I'm like, oh, yes, this yes. is what it is. Well, this and, is and the essence of camping. And the other thing is yes. we're improving it. Like, we're now warm. We're in a warm climate. Caleb's got the tent. Things, mm -hmm. things, things are the looking up, babe. The tent is really cool. The tent is cool. The tent is really cool. Day one breakfast. Day one breakfast. Go. Skeletons grew skin Dirt gave birth to eyes The blind could see again For the very first time The colors coming back To a pale midnight view And I forgot myself I was caught staring at you Okay, so today, we're not just building a house, we're building a community. Mm -hmm. So what they ask from us is that we come here, get to know the family, stand with them, build mm -hmm. with them. Yes. And we're not just doing something for somebody. So yeah. that's the coolest part, mm -hmm. because the family is here on site. Yeah. They've really earned this opportunity. They've been volunteering in the community, doing things, and so that's why I'm pumped. This is how I lie down. This is what I do. Please come pet me. Yes, and then you guys work. <laughs> Boy. 
Oh, Charlie and this dog went to the same training. I know. You see it? This is this is Harris right here. Hello. And he's he's taking me over to another build that One Mission is doing where they're not as far along as we are because the process of the is it stacked foam? Is that what you call yeah. it? And so I just wanted to get some bit footage of how the walls are being created. So he's taking us over there right now. As you can see on top here, we had to notch these blocks so therefore the rebar could go inside the U-shape here on each one. We have rebar in every other cell and then each corner interlocks with each other. So it gives it rigidity. So each, each cell that has rebar in it has, gets, gets concrete. concrete correct. Gotcha. And then this top row, as you see, it has U-bolts in it, a U-channel in it. Yeah. It's going to have rebar in a square-shaped form all the way around, tie-wired off to the rebar, which then makes there's concrete each one and then a concrete square concrete all the way in the middle and middle section all right. here, now I'm over here at the third house and the third house are you like the foreman of this house? Uh, no, Tom is. Really? Uh, yeah. Uh, if there's a problem, yeah. Yeah. Tom yeah. is. Tom is. Yeah, you don't know go. what I'm about to say. I mean, maybe I'm going to compliment you on how it is. Yeah, and you be the form. Well, we haven't done much. Yeah. All right. So. It does look like it's pretty good, though. So I see the foundation gets laid. Yep. I was over at house number two, at least in order if I'm doing this. And they put down the foam. The rebar goes in every other one. Right. And right now, you've taken up to the second top. And now you're putting the concrete. Yeah. Put concrete in the first level. Okay. So that's where your windows are. Then we concrete the second level. Then we're going to put all of our bolts in there for the top plate. And then okay. the trusses will go on. And now once that concrete sets, all this, the wood framing comes off. Yeah, yeah. Okay, yeah. That, on our build, we're putting up the stucco on the inside with that mesh material, right? Right. Okay. Yeah, well this will all come off tomorrow. And it will? We'll stucco. Yeah, and we'll stucco it. Really? The outside. The outside. Okay. Yeah. And then the trusses go up. Roof goes Another on. Another week. Another week. Yeah, we won't do the trust. How week. many how many trips is it taking to complete a house right now? I think there's four trips on a house. Okay. Yeah. Three, four. Okay. Something like that. Yeah. Alright. Tell me the status of this house, where it's at. Where that, we're just minutes from completion. <laughs> we're right we are right on it. Any any minute now. <laughs> any, any minute, minute now. now. Yeah. I can't just in the time. Yeah. Right? <laughs> don't don't it's go close. anywhere. It's don't close. go anywhere. It's right. <laughs> Stay <laughs> tuned. Well their concrete's poured? Yeah, so when we came, all the concrete was poured. Yeah. And so we just started working on prepping the trusses, doing the stucco. Yeah. Inside outside, which you have to do like prep work. Gotcha. And then setting this top plate. Because that's Which, where your that's trusses where are going to go. Land top. So you want to make sure that's nice and you clean. You think you'll get trusses up this nice. trip? Yes. You do? Some. Is that tomorrow? Okay. I tomorrow. Mean. Interesting. Yeah, definitely not today. Yeah, give me something. Uh, so here's what happens. A family wants to build a house. Sometimes some families have come out from Mexico City because they're trying to avoid like a violent situation or just try to make a better life for themselves. So a lot of times they'll figure out how to get to let's say Puerto Pinesco or somewhere else in Mexico. And then they'll come out here and they'll build something. They'll pay off the land. The land costs about 10 to 16,000 pesos, which is about 500 to 1,000 US dollars. And they'll, they'll build some sort of structure. Like the family that we're building a house for has made a what we would consider a shed. They've built a shed out of pallets, put some plywood on the top and put some roof um, paper, like roofing paper around the sides and they've been living in that. And then once they accumulate 400 hours of volunteer time through one mission, then they can apply for a house. And so they have to be very involved in the community, do their community hours and have all their land paid off. And if they meet those requirements, then, then they can apply to have one mission build them a house. But what's behind me is very typical of how a lot of people are living out here just to get the process, just to get the process going. So. Sometimes you have to do 
that several times before you get it to bite. Yeah. Up on one end. Oh, 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 Looks but like a real The home. camera was in the truck the entire time I do it, so I promise, <laughs> promise I did something. <laughs> even though it looks like. I saw you in there today. I know you did, but no one here did. <laughs> <laughs> Senor. Buenos dias. Buenos dias. Yes, yeah. You want to uh, tell us uh, what's going on here with well, your trusses, your fancy trusses? The, the other day when we talked, that, that other house we were working on, we finished that, we finished closed that. it, sold it, done. Okay. Uh, closed. You, you, you're so efficient. Yeah, this so we team. figured we'd just ramp up another one. Okay, good. Just get this what's, one going. Uh, what's so going on up here? We can only here? get about 75% of the way done okay. on this one. <laughs> yeah, it's, so, it's amazing. Switch. And you got all these trusses on yesterday? All these By hand. On. By hand. Amazing. Maybe a, maybe one crane. Maybe one crane. Hola. Hola. ¿Cómo están, mijas? Oh, yeah. What's that? These are our friends we built a house for how long ago? He said seven years. Seven years ago. Oh, yeah? Seven years, and they, they come back every year. They find our, our site, and they come come visit us. And just see us every year we're out here. That's awesome. It's awesome. Yeah. yeah. And yeah, this year I can put in the tile for oh, all. Nice. Yes, oh, my all. gosh. Yeah. Yeah. That'll be beautiful. Yeah. Wow. ¿Cómo se de su casa? Muy bien. Me muy bien. Thank you and God bless you. Yes, the work is doing very well. Yes, excellent. Yes, excellent. Well, it's going to end the day and tomorrow we will end. Okay. Well, <laughs> Can we get that T-bar underneath it as far as we can? Tape and texture, baby. Tape and texture. Four, three, two, two. smile! Did it happen? I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> no, 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 no. <laughs> And we're done. And we're done. The house is complete. A professional crew will come and put on the finishing touches like just the windows, and doors. Door, yeah. But this has been a great experience. Another way to use our rig. I, you know, we did the Ronald McDonald event a little while, a bit ago. Uh -huh. And I think the email that we sent out was purpose driven RV. Yes. I think it amplifies the RV experience when you're able to use your travel in such a way that is giving back. But I'll tell you what, as much as this family is grateful and humble and appreciative of everything we did, the, the people that really got the most were all the people that came out here and did this. Right it's, here. The working. It, yeah, I mean, it's great. So, yeah. so anyway, so um, this was fantastic. We are going to show you how to fold up that tent, yes. get hooked up, and start making our way to yep. the border because we have to close this and get on the next adventure. We do. Week. What Very is the exciting. next adventure? We are going out with Jesse at Summit to do kind of an introductory to four wheel driving, more for me than you. <laughs> and then- uh, Just then so we don't get stuck out in the middle of nowhere. Yeah, we're gonna do some like self recovery type stuff. Mm -hmm. And then we're gonna make our way over to uh, Prescott, Tucson. We're gonna go up the backside of the Sierras, up Red Rocks, Death Valley, on our way to Tahoe, possibly even Big Sur as we come down into Palm Springs. So, lots going on, but let's get over to the what they call base camp so we can get that tent folded up and cross the border. Yeah. I figured we'd come over and help you, give you a hand. <laughs> what are you, you guys yeah. knocking off for? <laughs> you're, I tell you, so your timing is exceptional. You didn't even put a door on that thing. There's no <laughs> Fontanas. <laughs> Five minutes after we're done, Matt wood. rolls up just just when I knew you would. Perfect. Let's go. <laughs>
Right, get your tools, guys. Let me show you what a house should look like when yes, it's, right. when it's, yeah. when it's yeah. done, so yeah. you know. Because you've done the, how many builds? This Eight, is six. Seven. This is the six. So let me let me show you what they should look like. Okay. I put a bed up there. Yeah. I can't believe you guys did that without power tools. That's a lot of um, turning. No, we use we use. Well, no, no, no. <laughs> Eight dozen tortillas. I'm not gonna mess around here. And some lunch. Here's the eight dozen tortillas. Whoa! That's not bad, huh? That's awesome! Some burritos, right? Yes. Okay, so now we're gonna I'm get gonna this. Change. We're gonna get this folded up, snap down. We're gonna hook up, which takes all nine seconds, and then we're gonna get out of here. I'm sure it goes like this. Not too bad for our first time setting it up and our first time tearing down, it went pretty good. Whenever you guys had a problem, mm -hmm. you just said it's time for a burrito break. <laughs> well, you've got um, we... 10 dozen or eight dozen burrito tortillas now. Wow. Can we roll out of here? We have a lot to accomplish still today. Yeah, let's go. We... See you, good to meet you. Nice Mucho gusto. Nice. Buen dia. We don't have to be sure. It's a kind of